Now for a story that we've been uh, talking about a number of times over the last few weeks. Clashes between protesters and security forces persist across Iran as protests enter their 26th day. Yes, widespread protests swept across Iran following the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who had been arrested by morality police for allegedly not adhering to Iran's strict Islamic dress code. Well, the protests pose one of the most significant challenges to Iran's rulers since the 1979 revolution. And there are some reports of strike action spreading to Iran's vital sector. Well, joining us now to discuss this is Roxy Amhani, uh, Iranian activist. Thank you so much for joining us uh, on the programme. I mean, firstly, um, there have been anti-compulsory hijab protests before in Iran. I mean, what do you think is the significance of the one that we are seeing now and why it's gained seemingly so much traction? Um, hi, thanks for having me. Uh, actually, there have been protests against hijab uh, after the revolution, 1979, and uh, like 40 years ago. But actually, this time is the biggest one uh, that we are facing now. Uh, but we need to know that it's not just about the compulsory hijab or morality police. It's about humans' right, and that the people are fighting for, uh, you know, just like gender apartheid, you know, forced confessions and uh, free expression and no due process and unfair trials. And, and they are fighting for humans' right and uh, the right to choose. As you say, this is uh, more than just um, a fight for, to, for women to choose whether or not to wear the hijab. This is actually a human rights fight. But I did wonder, what do you think the symbolism of the hijab for the Iranian regime is? Because that's what has triggered all of this. Yes, actually, the meaning, the, what does it symbolise for regime is totally different from uh, what we actually the meaning of the hijab for us as a people of Iran, actually the regime uh, symbolizes as an Islamic culture or Islamic identity. But uh, for us, it's like a Berlin Wall that if we tear it down, the regime will be down. I mean, on that point, because I think that there's been a lot of confusion and discussion amongst the West in relation to debates about the hijab, you know, because we know, for example, in France, uh, there is a, uh, it is a criminal offence, essentially, to, to wear the full face veil. And so it has um, bit sparked many different debates um, in the West. So what, what do you think about the, the kind of Western response, particularly from feminists, uh, in regards to the Iranian feminists and the struggle that they're fighting for there? If I'm being honest with you, uh... The support from feminists, uh, they didn't enough, you know, support for us, actually. But we had great support from all over the world, from politics to celebrities, uh, which we never thought uh, they would care about. But actually, mm, there has been a silence from the feminists, and, and except just like meaningless cutting hair for their Instagrams and social pages. So uh, I think actually the white Western feminists need to take this moment to reflect on what do they have to uh, learn from this moment and this movement uh, in the feminist history. Yeah, really important uh, point you make there. Uh, and I just wondered, obviously these protests are ongoing. It's the 26th day. What do you think uh, the protesters are hoping to achieve? What will be enough for them before they say, OK, you know, we, we'd like to carry on with our lives. We've achieved something here. Mm. Yes, as I mentioned before, it's not just for compulsory hijab or morality police. We have been fighting and protesting more than 40 years for uh, like gender apartheid, you know, government corruption and the funding of terrorism. But the mainly is theocracy. They are fighting for change the regime and theocracy, actually. Mm. And just finally, I mean, what, if anything, can the West do, people within the West and leaders do to support the protests and support the struggle of these freedom fighters in Iran? Yes, thanks for asking. Uh, it's a very critical moment that we need to be here as much as possible and spread the news, spread 
uh, to amplify our voice, you know, for the people who are voiceless. And as you maybe know, the internet is totally cut off in Iran. And the, we need to be heard. And, you know, um, we ask the Western countries to, you know, stop legitimizing this regime and stop supporting and dealing with this regime that killing their own people. So just ask public support us and put pressure on the politicians to stop dealing with this regime. Mm. Well, Roxy, we, we thank you for all the work you're doing. And of course, we wish all the best to all of those protesters who are fighting um, for not just uh, women's rights, but human rights in Iran. And we really appreciate your time this morning, Roxy Amhani, there, uh, who's an Iranian activist. Yeah.